Ever feel like the energy market is running a program on a loop? Record production, price volatility, consolidation, repeat. It's like watching a reboot of a show you've already seen, but the special effects are more expensive and the plot twists are getting a little predictable. Welcome to the U.S. upstream oil and gas sector in August 2025 where the signal is strong, but the picture is a little glitchy. Let's look at the raw data feed. U.S. crude production is hitting numbers that would have seemed like science fiction a decade ago. We're talking about 13.4 million barrels a day. That's a fire hose of black gold. Natural gas is right there running with it, humming along at over 106 BCF per day. The rigs are running. The producers are raising their output guidance, and on the surface, the machine is operating at a peak performance. It's a beautiful, roaring engine of hydrocarbon output. But if you adjust the tracking, you'll notice the static. And that's where we're pumping out oil like there's no tomorrow. Crude inventories just took a nosedive of 6 million barrels. Stockpiles are now 6% below five-year averages. This sends prices bouncing around like a packet of data on a corrupted network. Brent is hovering around $66. WTI is near $63. It's a market with a case of the jitters reacting to every shadow and whisper. It's less about fundamentals and more about sentiment, which is a fragile thing to build a multi-trillion dollar industry on. And then there's natural gas. The industry has produced so much of it, the price has collapsed under its own weight. It's the digital equivalent of inventing teleportation machines that work only one way, leaving you with a massive pile of you on the other side. The supply has completely overwhelmed the demand forecast. And this isn't just a market correction, it's a system overload. This volatility has put on the brakes on the industry's favorite game, Monopoly. The M&A frenzy of 2024, which saw nearly $207 billion in deals and shrank the pool of top E&P companies from 50 to 40, has cooled off. The music has stopped. Buyers who were once snapping up acreage like it was going out of style are now practicing something called capital discipline. That's industry jargon for checking your bank account before you go shopping. The sellers are finding fewer bidders and the higher quality assets, especially in the Permian, are becoming as rare as an original idea in a Hollywood boardroom. So what's the new strategy? It's fa a fascinating pivot. You have the super majors, the big bosses like BP and Shell, who just a few years ago were talking about winding down their fossil fuel romance. Now... Well, they're getting back together with their first love. BP is pouring billions into new upstream projects, aiming for a string of startups through 2030. It seems the energy transition is experiencing a few buffering issues. At the same time, companies like ConocoPhillips are looking at the natural gas glut and seeing an escape route. LNG exports. They're signing deals to ship that supply across the ocean. It's a classic move if you can... If you can't sell your product at home, find a new market. It's a big bet on global demand and a signal that the U.S. sees its energy future as an international one. The message coming through, the static is becoming clear. The era of growth at all cost is over. The algorithm has been updated. Tomorrow winners won't be the ones with the most rigs, but the ones with the smartest operations. The new currency is resilient efficiency, disciplined capital, and the ability to navigate a landscape that changes with the geopolitical wind. We're in a moment where the industry is producing a record level, but facing headwinds that could scramble the entire system. It's a paradox, high output, high uncertainty. It's a game of managing chaos. The successful players will be those who can filter the noise from the signal, who understand that in a world of data overload, the most valuable commodity is clarity. The future always arrives with a bit of static. Tune out the hype. Tune in here. I'm Mark Roach. FutureWise Energy. See you on the next broadcast.